Check in the text below and also in the comments. I'll provide a link on how you can purchase this product or one similar. It helps me out a little bit if you use that link when you do shopping. Thanks a bunch. I splurged a little bit on some jewelry from Brighton. Let's see what I have. Since I have only four more years to teach, I went ahead and bought this beautiful um, lanyard. It's adjustable, so you can make it shorter or longer. I went and got me a new ID made, and I ordered a new National Board Certified teacher pen because mine was expired. So I think this one will last me four years. The other one kind of faded out after four years. Excuse me. This type of lander is really cool because it has this type of hook in the back. So nothing's going to fall out of it. Holds it very securely. And I have a heart-shaped necklace and a heart-shaped ring that, from Brighton that sort of go with that. My earrings. I got these because I like the earrings that have the little wire back. It's just one less piece from we'd have to lose. And I tried to get something that was simple that I could wear with anything. I really hate making earring choices. So I thought these would go. These were $52. I forget how much the lander was. These are $42. Same principle, but these actually have this type of hook on the back. So that's the way my heart earrings are. So you don't have two separate pieces to, to try to lose. Well, I don't have two separate pieces of try. They're very lightweight. That's another factor for me is I don't I don't want heavy stuff in on my earlobes. It's pulling on the earlobes when you get to be an old lady is like it's not attractive. And then I got this free. It says it's worth it says it's worth sixty-eight bucks. So I'm gonna try it on. If I like it, I'll keep it. If not, I'll probably sell it on eBay. I'm not, not wild about the chain on that. But as all their necklaces, you can adjust the length of it. Let's try on this necklace first. So Brighton has really good clasps. You open like this, and my fine motor skills are horrible, so I find I still find it easy to put theirs on. Because the holes in the back are pretty big. So that looks um it's pretty, but it looks a little like a girl's necklace, like a very young girl's necklace. And I think I'm probably too old to pull this off, so I will be selling it on eBay. You can find me on eBay if you want to buy it. Again, the clasp are just so easy to do. Do the ear easy earrings first. These are lightweight. I really don't like heavy earrings. I don't like the way that they pull. Especially women when we get older. I don't hate seeing saggy earrings. So what do you think? Like these? Just a little shine hang down in the hair. I like earrings that are um, kind of like this shape. I really like to have some big hoops, but most of the time those are really heavy. I had a perfect pair. I lost them at a concert. No, I lost one at a concert. Let's see if I can get this out of here without tearing it up. I have to move the paper. These are a little bit trickier to put in. You have to hook that in your ear and sometimes I have to get in front of the mirror to do this part and then the back part just closes up like that this one came out of the paper much easier put it in and then slide the back up 
So what do you think about these? Those are really pretty, aren't they? Do you have a favorite? I like both of them. These are a little bit lighter weight than, than these, obviously. They're a little bit bigger. And this is my lanyard. Obviously, it's long enough to go over my neck without... Obviously, it's long enough to go over my head without having to undo it, but you can still adjust it. But I need it long because I wear it all day long, and I just bend down and unlock my door. That way, I never have to worry about losing my keys. So I really, really do like that. Very happy to have this. I have this necklace that my beloved Dr. Yokan gave me when I completed my dissertation. I bought these on eBay. They're not an exact match, but they kind of go with because I wanted to have something to complement this. You can buy these exact earrings on, on Bright and probably on eBay as well. Here's the total prices for the uh, jewelry I got. The interlock earrings with the lever back are $42.00. The scroll ones were with the wire back were $52 and my lanyard was $52. And then of course the little love flower necklace was free. Thank you for watching. If you have time before you go watch another video, consider giving this video a thumbs up, leaving a positive comment, and subscribing to my channel or to a playlist that has items of your particular interest. Thanks so much.